Hi everyone, happy 2008. As you can see, I've got me a little new do. I was working it out. Uh, I decided to go with the uh, the press, deep condition press, actually, <laughs> and layered look. And that's the benefit of having uh, unprocessed hair is that when you do choose to go and press it out, it has the craziest body, okay? Get me body, get me body. Sorry. Sorry, okay, I'm sorry. Um, but this particular episode, I am calling, drum roll please, Miss Moxie Presents, Bye Bye Bag Lady. And that is a reference to Erica Badu's Bag Lady song. Uh, I heard it on the radio the other day, and I love that song. And it's one of those songs where you kind of forgot about, but then when you hear it again, you're like, man, she is really spitting some truth. So when I was listening to the song, when it was over, the first thing I thought about was like, man, you know, she's really speaking to, she's really being real with it. And it made me think about songs that sort of call for, that speak about superwomen. Uh, Karen White, Superwoman, Alicia Keys, Superwoman, and Super and Little Mo, Superwoman, and I kind of thought, man, we can't really aspire to be that Superwoman unless we go toe to toe with the Bag Lady, and um, you know, and in Erica it talks about in the song, you know, you can't hold on to issues, and she also mentions, you know, that there's different kinds of ladies with the Gucci bag lady, and I like how she, she did that because she sort of is saying, you know, no matter what, where you are on the social ladder, you are, gonna, you have issues, and you're a woman, and furthermore, no man is going to want you if you carry the issues of something else into the next joint. And I know y'all fellas out there hear what I'm saying. There's nothing worse than a bitter chick from who has issues from her last relationship. So, um, and then like I said, I'm, does that make sense how I'm sort of bridging the two? Uh, like you can't, you can't become that superwoman unless you deal with those issues because, because that's going to hold you back. It's not going to allow you to become the woman that you um, are supposed to be. So, um, do any of you out there have any suggestions as far as uh, to share with everybody how, how do you resolve issues that you um, are going through or have dealt with? Uh, so things like, I, I know me personally, um, last breakup I had, I, because it took a toll on me, I purposely chose to take many, many months to myself because I couldn't figure out why it messed me up the way it did, but, and I realized why it did, and the only reason why I could figure it out is because I chose to take that time to myself, because I knew that I didn't want to carry that weight into something, into the future, and uh, whether or not I was going to be with somebody or not, for, for my own personal and mental well-being. So do you guys have any suggestions out there? Do you take, do you take breaks, or do some of you go straight into something else, even though y'all should know that you are going to ultimately have to face those issues and deal with them because um, it's not right to bring them into something else. So, yes, bag lady. Um, fellas, I would love to hear maybe stories from you guys um, who've dealt with chicks or vice versa. Women, have you ever dealt with a guy that, you know, we, we normally we don't really hear guys talking about having issues and bringing them into the next relationship, but they're there, they exist. So I'd kind of like for each of us to sort of share your experiences, how you can sort of toss the issues, and um, maybe even su some success stories. So that's it for me. Hopefully everything is good. <laughs> that's my phone ringing. And um, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I will talk to you later.